There's already at least one school district in South Carolina that makes sure there's an SRO in every school, and it's here in the upstate. It's Anderson District 5. Our Nicole Ford talked to officials there to see how things have been going with this. Nicole. Yeah, drive past any of the 22 schools here in Anderson District 5 during the day, and you're bound to see a sheriff's car or a police car outside. Now, that car is just one sign to the community that there's an armed officer inside this school protecting the students. As the wind blows outside Centerville Elementary, inside. I want to look at the, um, the lobby. I look inside the lobby. The halls are patrolled by Deputy James Teeley. So normally this would be the last one I'll check and make sure they're locked. He's one of 22 school resource officers in Anderson District 5. Every school has an SRO, armed SRO. A decision made by the school board as an investment in their students' safety. It's a financial decision. You've got to decide how to spend the revenues. We spend over a million dollars a year, but we think it's well worth it. We think it's, uh, you're looking at over 100 and. $40 million budget, and we spent a million for school security. It's a position not just the administration sees value in, but law enforcement as well. There's no more precious asset than our kids. So we're not protecting our kids while they're in school supposedly learning, then we're doing something wrong. An extra set of eyes. I think we should have an SRO in every school at every level. Or a hand to high five. Excuse me. Hey, baby. How you doing? To these kids, this man is not just their school's protector, but their friend. You could be on the other side of the mall or whatever, and they'll run up in there and see you, and the parents are like, who is that? That's my SRO. That's all to tell me. While it may be his first year in these halls, he plans to be there for many more. I love being at Centerville. I love being around these kids. And I think it's important that you have passion about what you do. And I'm passionate about these kids in this school, and I'm going to protect them the best I can. Now, before this year, both the middle and high schools had full-time SROs, but the elementary schools just had some private security. Now, after this change was implemented, Superintendent Wilson says that they don't plan on going back. He says presence is deterrence and that investing in students' protection is the best way that they can spend their money. We're live in Anderson, Nicole Ford, 7 News. Nicole, it's certainly good to hear the officer talk about how passionate he is, and I'm sure all the others are as well, in protecting these children. But do you hear the teachers say at all that having these officers while it's very very good it's an important step maybe more needs to be done are hearing are you hearing any support for the idea of teachers indeed of uh, being armed as we've heard some uh, lawmakers discuss well none of the teachers that i talked to at centerville elementary said anything about that today but they did say that they were at ease having a full-time sro at school as for anderson district five they said they're not on board for arming their teachers they say teachers roles are to teach in the classroom that's why they have law enforcement present on campus to protect the students all right nicole ford live in anderson county tonight thank you nicole